Blue. Hey, boy, let it knock me down. What's good, LG Big Dog fam? I'm out here on my yard, about to take care of some things. We got this solution here. Keep the flies off my dogs. This year, flies have been nipping a little bit harder than really any other year that I had my dogs. But, uh, you know, it's summertime, so we want to throw in all those good preventions, keep the dogs healthy and stuff. So we typically just, uh, so I got this stuff here. I typically just want to spray them down. And this is uh, set to repel as well as kill flies. So spray a little bit around here, that area too. She got a little bit of mess in here I need to clean up. Not too bad, but it's common. She just ate, so food got to go somewhere, right? Yeah, so just taking those extra precautions to keep the flies off my dogs. You know, keep the bows clean. That's why they tipped over now. I'm about to start wiping those out. Get all the algae, you know, out of them. I'm um, not too concerned about the outside. Mainly the inside, what they drink out of. Get all that green algae out, you know. And, uh, yeah, it's important to always uh, keep the, uh, the humanitarian or the you know, the hygiene, whatever you want to call it, in your kennel up. You know, keep those qualities up. Above all. Because that's what keeps your dog healthy and safe and, you know, looking good and feeling good. <clears throat> but, um, in the meantime, you guys, that bully litter is looking great. You guys are really, uh, you know, take a look at those, you know, on past videos. I will, sh I will showcase them more later. Um, starting right off at 1500 which is a reasonable price. Um, you know, what else can I say, man? They're going to be good, functional, well-built, great coats. I wasn't expecting some of the colors I got, but, you know, I'm kind of new to the color aspect of things anyway, you know. But, um... Yeah, those bullies are looking good. And I also have another litter coming off of Little Rock and Coco. So keep your eyes peeled for that. You know, you want something that got a, you know, champion blood behind it. A, you know, a higher name behind the bully. Because those both both those bullies were produced out of uh, Bully Barnes Kennels. And uh, I think he got like five, six different champion, you know, champions within his bloodline. So... Needless to say, Little Rock got champion as a bloodline, so does Coco. But both of them are exceptional bulls. Not to knock the bulls I have already on the ground, the bullies I already have on the ground. They look as they look just as phenomenal as well, but um, you know, and they're already here. But just for those who are uh want papers for uh you know, for breeding or for clout or just to say, you know, you know, uh I know where my dog comes from, then, you know, maybe wait on that litter. But this litter here is already touched down, man, looking good, good price. Uh, no issues, no birth defects. Um, you know, great bullies. And as always, the number is going to be 980-892-3862. I'll put that down below. But right now, man, I am just enjoying my dogs as usual. Got to let some of my big guys out, play with them. Going to do some walking later. Um, already trimmed around the edges. Like I said, I'm going to wipe bowls down. Got to go back in different kennels, spray dogs down. Uh, make sure to keep the flies off of them. You know, I've already sprayed the yard, but um, 
still with flies, man, they're going to go after what they want, whether it's, you know, feces may attract flies. Um, you know, any damn thing can attract a damn fly. So they're a little bit ha harder to repel opposed to, like, uh, ticks and fleas and things like that. So with that repellent, I'm hoping it just uh, keeps them from biting on the ears of my dogs because some of my dogs that – Ears aren't cropped and such like that. They've been getting uh, chewed up with the, by the flies. So, as things will have it, Jason may be uh, finding him a home in another, I don't know, another month or so. We got to get back with the lady. Um, she seems to be interested in one of the rock rollers. So she's just waiting to uh, transition to her new home, which is fine. Um, you know, he'll be available if she decides to purchase him. But um, no more sale other than him. Like I said, bully litter on the ground. Another bully litter coming. Um, after that, I'll probably do another bully litter. And then sometime during the end of the year, I'll probably do one uh of a more classic dog breed like a uh, rot roller or a corso, you know, what have you. I would like to get my man uh Bishop out there, but I think I'm gonna have to take him to shows and show him off and just put the word out about him because it's not too many Akitas as well as Akita breeders that I've noticed. So if anybody's looking for a a stud for the Akita female, holler at me, especially if you're in the southeast. Uh, the number's 980-892-3862. I have a beautiful uh, um, Akita. In fact, let me pause it. I'll try to show him off a little bit right now. So I got my boy Bishop right here. He is open for stud. Great looking male. Right at a year old in a few months. Um, he's, uh, he's AKC certified. No paperwork holding on. Great build. Great attitude. Friendly with other animals. Um, has had a few scuffles with other dogs here and there, but he's typically a good boy. Yeah, he's typically a good boy. So this is Bishop. If anybody's looking for a uh, a Kita to stud out to, maybe we just give me a call. Maybe we can set something up. You know. Uh, stud pricing, I'll say right at, uh, $1,800 for, uh, studding this boy out with your female. You know, you can either bring the female here or we can meet up and we'll just, you know, we'll discuss that however you want to do it. But, uh, this is Bishop, a male Akita, thoroughbred, American Akita, not, uh, Akita Inu. There are two different types of Akita. There's a Japanese Akita and then there's American Akita. You know, I've gave history on that in previous videos, but again, this is Bishop. He's a happy-go-lucky boy most of the time. You know, uh, I don't know why he didn't eat all his food. He usually eats all his damn food. Oh, that's right. We are trying a new kibble, so he may not be as fond to that. Tom... Big boy blue, got my big boy bang. We kicking it, doing the thing for now. Got some trash I gotta pick up right now on the side. These are my two boys. And if you look, they kinda got some little bit of scars on their ears. That's from the flies. So I'm going to spray them real good as well. Get them flies off of them once I get done talking to you guys. I know they're going to jump up on me and it'd be too hard to hold a camera and try to do all that at the same time. So, yeah, we're going to take care of that. We're going to take care of them, aren't we, Blue? Hey, we big boy. I love my dogs, man. You got to take care of your dogs. You know, be proud of them. Not everybody can have dogs. Hell, some people are scared of dogs even. Not me, man. I, I love them. Live them, live them. They're fun. They're funny. You know, strong, entertaining. 
good companions, good protectors, one of some of them, good characters. But uh I'll probably take a take a pause now you guys, get back to uh taking care of my dogs. Um if I make a video later it'll be either me in the park with Little Rock or or Coco or one of the bullies more than likely, if not one of the one of my corsos, one of my black corsos like BB or Sting. So but as of now, I got a little bit of busy work I got to do. Like I said, I got to clean out these bowls that I got poured over. So I want to get the algae and grud and grit out of them. And uh, as always, you guys, stay tuned. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Um, LG Butt Big Dogs Kennels. We got large breeds. We also got uh, popular breeds like bullies and such. So, you know, check us out. You know, if uh, if anything, if you don't if you don't want to purchase a dog, but you know someone who who may want to, send them my way, man. You know, give us a chance, and I, I assure you, you will not be dissatisfied with what you purchase. Um, put a lot of time, effort, sweat, and blood into this uh to this breeding. So, to all my breedings with my dogs, so. You're going to get some top quality stuff, man. And I do mean sweat and blood because I'm out here, you know, training them, working with them. Uh, you know, when the nails aren't clipped, they're jumping up, scratching me, you know, whatever the, whatever the case may be. So I'm always, uh, I'm not just a breeder that just got his dogs locked up and maybe got one good stud that he could show you and base the whole uh, program off that. No, I got several dogs several nice dogs um champion blooded dogs i got man i mean just check out my kennel man check out the page but be sure to like share subscribe and kick it with the big dogs until next time lg big dogs we is out peace